Hey everybody, Ollie from Flight Comp, and we're on part 5 of the vintage SR7 slope glider build. Um, you remember from part 4, we left off where we drilled a hole here for the dowel for the leading edge to hold the wing down, and we glued a piece of plywood back here. Um, I'm going to install a couple of these 4mm blind nuts and use some 4mm... Um, nylon bolts instead of the nylon bolt that was provided with the kit they gave you two standard thread nylon bolts and they wanted you to just drill holes and tap the plywood I don't want to do that so I'd rather just have a metal threaded insert which we'll install and so then moving to the wing here we have to drill a hole and put a dowel in here to mate with the hole in the fuselage and I have marked my locations to drill these holes um, for the rear mounting of the wing using the nylon bolts. So I think what I'm going to do now is start with getting this dowel in here. And once the dowel is in, I will drill these holes and try to get the uh, blind inserts installed. And that way we can actually fix the wing onto the fuselage and probably be able to move on to do some of the fairings um this thing's got some crazy kind of plastic fairing that goes on the bottom and we have to fill some gaps up here so uh we'll uh, move on with that right now all right there's a hole i've drilled in the leading edge of the wing um a little tricky because there's actually balsa ribs on both sides so it's not like it just goes through into foam but I took my time and used a few different size drill bits to step it up. And here's the dowel I'm going to use. And it fits in real nicely. Like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that in. And then move on to drilling some holes back here for the nylon bolts. Well, I, uh, I guess I made a rookie mistake. I just glued that dowel in without even test fitting anything and I put the wing on and there's this massive gap you know the wings not really sitting down in the root or in the saddle of the fuselage and if I look at the plans it kinda shows the dowel on the bottom side of the leading edge not straight through the middle and I didn't look at that <sighs> so I already glued that thing in I'm going to see if I can try to get it out somehow and fiddle with that hole and make it fit properly. Alright, I drilled that dowel out and now if you look at the hole on the fuselage you can see that it's well above the center line of the leading edge. The dowel is going to basically come in like through the wing skin I guess. The wing is flush or as flush as it can get. So I'm going to figure that out and try to rework that hole and get another piece of dowel in there and see if we can get a better fit. So I drilled a couple of pilot holes in the trailing edge here of the wing and while holding the wing in place on the fuselage using the front dowel I continued those holes through to the uh, mounting area and I used the measurements they gave me and all this stuff and somehow we're real close to the edge here but I don't think it's going to be a big deal because there's plenty of plywood in there and now I'm going to install these blind nuts and to do that I'm going to use some um, metal four millimeter screws and washers and just come in right here with the screws and tighten it up and suck that blind nut in and these teeth should um, you know start biting and uh, digging holes into the plywood and then uh, after that's done um, or I should say, I'm going to do that and then um, back them off a little bit and then apply some epoxy to this blind nut and then tighten it up a final time and uh, let it dry. And that'll um, keep those blind nuts in there permanently. So these two screws that I used to clamp down the um, blind nuts are installed in the epoxy that I put behind the blind nuts is dried so I can take these out so I'm just going to um, back these out 
and then I'm going to open up the holes in the wing over there and then we should be able to actually uh, mount the wing onto the fuse sort of semi-permanently for the for the first time. Well the wing is on. I'm kind of happy about that because it's a it's a big step. Uh, I think I have to put some kind of plywood plywood plate here at some point but we'll look into that later. But what I'm going to do now is try to start rough fitting this big fairing that goes on the bottom here and it's got some pre-scribed or pre-marked lines in it but I have my doubts about how accurate any of this is going to be so I'll just start trimming a little at a time and test fitting as I go and I'm going to use a pair of uh, these curved Lexan scissors to start rough trimming that piece so let's get started well, I have been whittling away at this cover, mostly with um, the scissors and a little bit of the Dremel. And I'm getting somewhat of a closer fit here. Um, nothing precise about this whatsoever. I've started to mark and drill the holes for the wing bolts. Um, so a little more work to be done here to get it to fit slightly better and we'll just keep uh, chipping away at it and see what happens right well I think I'm pretty happy with the way this fairing is fitting now um, I got it to fit somewhat flush at the front and also at the back here and it fits the um, wing area pretty nicely on both sides uh, so I think I'm gonna just leave this alone for now Try to take this off um, So we'll put that aside and the next thing I'm gonna do is Put a strip of kind of a heavy fiberglass down the center to join the wings permanently uh, top and bottom and also, uh, in the plans, it didn't call for any kind of plywood plate here to support the wing mounts or the wing screws. But I think what I'll do is just put a little extra bit of fiberglass under these screws just so they don't crush the uh, balsa trailing edge. Um, then once that's cured, the, the fiberglass, I'm going to start to tackle the, the gap on the fuselage right here the instructions call for using like a, some kind of spackle or putty or something to fill this gap that would stick to the wing um, I'm gonna try to do something a little cleaner than that maybe uh, might try to use some balsa wood shims or something but we'll tackle that once we've uh, fiberglassed the uh, center of the wing Ready to glass the center of the wings now. Um, I'm gonna do a little trick that sometimes I do when I'm fiberglassing things. I'm gonna use some uh, 3M77 contact spray and just put a very light mist coat on the area where I want the fiberglass to be. And that'll help me stick down the fiberglass and it won't move around. It'll make it a lot easier to um, apply the resin and uh, make a, a neat job out of it. And I've masked off a little bit of the area around uh, so I don't get the contact cement or the spray going everywhere because it doesn't really come out of the bottle uh, very evenly. I masked off the torque tubes so we won't get any uh, 3M77 or epoxy or fiberglass on those. And uh, we're ready to go now. I'm just going to put a light coat of this on and let it tack up for a few minutes. So the glass is applied. Um, it's not the cleanest application, but I'm not really worried about it because uh, this glass sands really easily and I am also going to put another layer of very light fiberglass over the whole wing. So I'm not concerned about the edges on this at all. Um, we'll kind of cover those up with the final coat of, uh, of our finishing fiberglass. But we're ready to mix up some resin and get this thing uh, soaked out. So I got the glass down and it's it's in place nicely and I'm just using some toilet paper and my brush to soak up as much excess epoxy as I can and then when that's done I'll just set this aside and let it cure. Epoxy is pretty well cured. It's been about 
24 hours and I've done some light trim up work with some scissors and I'm going to um, do some sanding and smooth this out just slightly focusing on the edges on uh, both sides and when that's done I'm gonna move on to actually trying to temporarily bond this fairing on the wing um, because I think I have to make some kind of like bulkhead or plate to go in here in the front of this to give this some uh, stiffness because this is pretty flimsy plastic and also during that time I'm going to try to put the put some uh, balsa fairings or shims or whatever right here to help it mate with the, the fuselage better so let's move on with that well I've um, cleaned up the fiberglass underneath this uh, fairing um, with some sanding and I have bolted the wing on I'm using the nylon bolts and I have taped the fairing in place temporarily and what I think I'm gonna do is tack the fairing down in a few spots with some uh, CA or super glue just to get it uh, basically in position I also did sand the edges of this plastic fairing a little bit just to give the glue a little better chance of adhesion um, so I'm gonna tack it temporarily in place then I might look at building like a bulkhead or something here uh, just to give this some some more strength and then we'll go uh, ahead with doing the um, filling in this gap up here I have tacked the um, fairing on the wing basically just put a bead of CA along the edge just kind of hold it in place uh, temporarily while I uh, bond it with a more uh, permanent solution it's looking really good I'm happy with the fit and everything um, this I think is gonna be a problem because it's very uh, flimsy so I'm gonna try to put some balsa in here and make this a little stiffer okay well I got a uh, little piece of balsa in here. It's not it's not very thick. It's uh, about 16th inch balsa And I did some fitting and cutting and got it to fit and just wrapped it around because you know, there's a big gap here So it doesn't matter if there's some balsa up here. Everything fits. I trial fitted it um, So I'm happy with this. I Will eventually put a little bit of fiberglass light fiberglass on this so it'll look a lot neater and now what we have to do is kind of build up this area with some fillets to match this part of the fuselage here. Time to tackle making this um, balsa fillet or shim or whatever that'll go in here. I've used one of these uh, photocopied template sheets that came with the kit I'm building. And you can see I've just cut out part of the root rib template which is right here and it fits pretty good so I'm gonna use this to help me cut out some balsa wood to fill that area in all right well I have cut out a little balsa wood um, piece here that's supposed to go in here between the wing and the fuselage I used that uh, paper template to help me out and I've drawn a line on the wing right here and I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just tack this down onto the wing and then um, just sand um, sand and fit as I go and try to get it to be a pretty decent fit okay here's what I've come up with um, I've glued this piece of balsa in here and I've done a little bit of test fitting and sanding until I was happy with the fit. It kind of ties into the fairing here and I'm going to have to do some kind of blend, but that shouldn't be too hard. Um, of course I have to do the one on the other side, but I just wanted to get one done just to see how it would go. And I'll put the fuselage on and let you see how it looks. So there it is. That's what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good. Um, there's going to be a little bit of blending and things to do when I actually fiberglass the wings. 
but I think all in all I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to move on to the other side. Well here's what it looks like with both the little fairing pieces installed. Came out pretty good. Um, I'm going to clean this up a lot when I glass the wing so a lot of this kind of notchiness and stuff will go away but for now I'm going to leave it like that. Let me just put the wing on real quick and show you what it looks like. This is what we got going on here. We got the uh, bottom plastic fairing wrapping around, kind of transitioning into the balsa fairing on both sides. So that's looking really good. I think I'm going to wrap this video up here because we uh, did a lot. Um, a lot of the major construction is done now. Um, I think next time we're going to tackle building this canopy tray which takes some wood and obviously the clear uh, canopy and um, I do have to make some kind of a um, tray for the uh, elevator servo which I don't know if it goes in here it might go over here or something like that I don't know I'll look at the instructions and then something that I've been sort of dreading for a while is uh, putting the wingtips on um, after I sheeted the wings, I kind of thought that it didn't get wing tips because there's already like a sub rib in here. So I, I, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. I just assumed that it didn't get wing tips, but apparently it does. So I have to glue a big balsa block on here and do a lot of shaping, which I'm not looking forward to. But we got a lot done on the SR7. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.